Greetings, Creepers. This is Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor um, from DailyNightmare.com. And since this is my happy knife, I, of course, have something else to be opening today. This is a little box coming from San Francisco from the from Last Gasp um, Publishers. Interesting publisher of, like, art books, comics. I'll have a link in the, the, uh, in the show notes, but that's only approximately where it is from. Ultimately where it is from is from the Bain Art Surreal Collective. They just recently had a Kickstarter for uh, to fund their work as a collective uh, um, and they were hoping to fund five years of their website and it was such a tremendous success that they are actually able to open a, uh, a gallery space. I think it is opening sometime early 2016 which would be right about now. Check out their website. I think it's baneart.org. I'll put that in the show notes in case that is wrong, because it highly likely is is wrong. Um, what I what I find really intriguing about um, what they're calling surrealism is um, it, it is it's an imaginative figur uh, figuralism. It's, it seems like we have in in fine art we have now washed pretty much through the um, uh, the onslaught of of abstraction, uh, whether it be abstract expressionism and or whatever, and we have we've come to a realization of, or a reappreciation of figural work, whether it be um, depictions of the human form, depictions of narrative, and uh, what's really intriguing about what they're calling surrealism, um, and everyone else calls it surrealism too. It's just I'm being difficult because that's the way I am. I'm not certain that it actually has a lot to do um, with the historic surrealist movement, um, but it certainly is. It, um, it's evocative. It is stuff that uh, when you look at it, um, it sparks your brain to be thinking in imaginative ways, to be uh, to telling a story and, and and putting together things that don't normally fit together. Sure, that's surrealism. It's just imagination too, but whatever. Um, I'm going to start cutting, hopefully not cutting myself. Anyway, so they had many, many wonderful um, uh, um, premiums or, or rewards, including, um, well, they had several out-of-print books. They, they, there was a book that I really wanted from uh, Chris Kusky. He does these just delicious uh, installation things. They're all uh, pale. They're all, um, um, you really have to see them to, to understand them. I, I, I saw um, a print of his, a print of one of his works featured on a cover of, I believe it was the Ghosts of Punk Town. And ever since then, I've been just a, um, I, 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 I love his stuff. Anyways, regardless, that book was sold out and out of print. Um, and I and, and also was sold out from the uh, the the Kickstarter. So what I got were two of their anthology books called Metamorphosis, which is what I'm hoping is in here. We I really have to have a blooper uh, video where I cut off one of my fingers and just spew blood everywhere because you know if I keep doing this, it's going to happen. It's gonna happen. I can only hope that when I when it happens, it will be on screen. Ah, oh, look at this. Lovely, lovely paper. <gasps> These are... You know, and whatever... I, I love supporting Kickstarter projects because they usually are helping support uh, a cool endeavor. Lots of things, especially in the arts, require a little bit of, you know, oomph to start up with. And you know I would want to buy this if it already existed, but if the folks who are making it don't have the capital to make it happen, it's never going to exist. I would love to, you know, front you a little bit of cash so you can make this thing that I would end up buying anyway. Um, and like I said, I'm really I'm intrigued by the... Um, this new figural work, this new exciting um, imaginative surrealism stuff. So let's look at this. Oh, these are hardbound. I didn't know they were hardbound. Oh, 
Lovely. Fig, this is Metamorphosis 1. Metamorphosis 2. Let's start with Metamorphosis 1, Shantle Shelby. Oh, and, and when there's when there's an option, I always try to get something physical. Um, yes, I love computers and I love the digital, don't you know? But man, it's something I can something I can make my letter carrier, you know, bring to my door and say, what the hell is he getting now? Okay, cool. Lovely volume with a oh with a dust jacket and everything. I gotta see what the actual oh with a real printed cover and dust jacket. These are 50 contemporary surreal, fantastic, and visionary artists. There you go. Open that up a little bit. And these are lovely pictures. Oh, these are actually are very lovely pictures. What I also appreciate about this new um, imaginative figural work is that there is a uh, remembering of the value of craft, of depiction, of, um, of mastery of form. Wow, that's a really prejudicial thing to say. I really probably shouldn't be saying that because I'm going to be mugged by all my uh, abstract expressionist friends. I shall end up being an abstract expressionist artwork myself, just all Jackson Pollocked over. Anyways, um, this is lovely. And this is quite a variety of work. There's painting, there's drawings that look like a litho. Oh, this is really intriguing. That's volume one. I'm gonna look at number two. I still could really damage myself even taking off cellophane, couldn't I? I tell you, that's what I'm going to do. If I have a Kickstarter, you're going to get a... Uh, if I get enough money, I will cut off one of my fingers. I have to get an awful lot of money, though. Elsa is guffawing from the other room. There are, I'm told, there's like 50 people. The work of 50... The artwork of, of 50 folks are, are represented in here. 50 contemporary, surreal, fantastic, and visionary artists. I shall flip through. I don't think you can see this. Wow. Vivid colors. Interesting forms. Little bits of what the hell. Ooh, what's going on there? Oh, is that Chris Mars? Love Chris Mars' stuff. I believe Chris Mars is in the... I don't think it's the inaugural one, but but he's he's having a, a show at the at the Bine Art. Um, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the gentleman, don't you know, has this lovely uh, Australian accent, which I really can't do. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. It's B-E-I-N-A-R-T. Um... Like I said, I love giving money to interesting causes, folks who are doing interesting projects to encourage them to continue doing interesting stuff. I had honestly never heard of this this uh, surreal collective uh, before the Kickstarter, and that's why I enjoy crowdfunding to expand my horizons with stuff. Uh, this is The Leech Doctor from DailyNightmare.com, your source for Midwest sublime uh, snob horror and the like. Subscribe to these videos. I try to put on two a week on Mondays and Thursdays. Sometimes I sneak a couple extra in on the weekends, depending on how kind my letter carrier has been for bringing me new stuff. Uh, check us out either on the website or these videos. And peace.